Guys, welcome to uh, one of the final videos we shall be doing on our Epic Nam 2020 trip. I can't even speak anymore, that's no, what's going on here. Hectic. So we're on the Dangelico booth, we thought we'd come here, it's be nice and quiet, relaxing, but it's kind of like they just turned everyone down, it was like a cacophony of jazz madness in here. Yeah. Ryan <laughs> is the Vice President Hello. of Product Development, True. Um, so hopefully he's going to know What's new on an I'm gonna take Angelica some wild guesses, but I, I'm hoping I get close. Cool. Yeah, closer than us, hopefully. Well, it's a beautiful looking booth, man. I'll, we'll spin around and everyone can see it later on in the video. But it's a beautiful. But what is new? Well, there is a lot. So, uh, are we walking around? Is we this can, a mic? We can walk. Video? Yeah, I thought yeah, we we roughly worked out. There seemed to be right, a lot of new oh, stuff okay, here. Yeah, so this is all right. Okay, cool. So we'll start on the top right. So one of the things we wanted to do in 2020 was refresh our arch tops because we haven't done that uh, since we debuted them uh, a number of years ago. And obviously this is a huge part of the D'Angelico uh, brand history. It's a huge part of our heritage. We take this part of our brand name very seriously. So what we've got here is the XL series Style B throwback. So what we're doing is a throwback collection that folds in uh, a lot of the aesthetic details that John D'Angelico came up with in the 1940s and 50s when he was being a little funkier, uh, getting a little bit more opulent. Okay. So, a quick run through. Yeah. We've got up top. Up top is this brand new headstock shape, the scroll okay. style with the seven ply binding, nice and you know big and fat, but a little less you know decadent than the than the cupola up top, which we usually have. Uh, that came out in the 40s. It's got an ebony macassar head plate on there for that natural vibe. It's also math, <laughs> which also <laughs> I'm with you guys, yeah, yeah, come on, which cool. also matches the satin uh, ebony macassar pick guard with the uh, model name on there, which is really rad. We got an ebony fingerboard finally on the arch tops, which is exactly what should be there. Um, medium jumbo fret wire, these big, bold, mother of pearl full fret block inlays. And then this is a custom shop Seymour Duncan floating mini humbucker, the Johnny Smith mini humbucker. Sounds incredible. And then we went ahead and did the two ply binding on the um, curvaceous F hole shape. Curvaceous, curvaceous. F hole. Curvaceous. Look, Everybody you, loves a curvaceous F hole. You can't say S hole. Sounds awful. So we go. You can. Curva you can say anything you want in our videos. I just said it. a hole. Yeah, you did. So yeah, now we got the two finishes here. This is Viola, which is a hand applied walnut stain, and that is vintage natural. Both of these have that spruce top and the flame maple back and sides. Is that the only difference between the EXL1 and the Style B? No, no. So the EXL1 is uh, 17 inches wide, overall about two inches longer, longer. and a single cutaway. Look, look at that bit here. It's much longer, Lee. Look. I know you. You're, That's how tired I am. I didn't even notice they're a completely different shape guitar. So counting is extremely hard, and I'm not confident in it right now. But <laughs> this has 20 frets and this has your full 22. Um, so this is kind of a more rhythm instrument, you know, with the yeah. non-cutaway shape and then this you have that the opportunity a big for box. lead lines. It's a big box, man, but it sounds incredible. I and like it's it. comfy on your leg the way it should be, you know? Let's move along. So uh, down here actually is a, a good pairing as I'm well. Going, I'm going here. This looks awesome. I love the color. So I'm going to try to describe this as concisely as possible. Essentially, we've got seven different models in the Deluxe series that in 2020 all have limited edition releases. So, per finish, only 50 available worldwide. Wow. And they're numbered on the back of the headstock. So, in the semi-hollow and hollow body world, we've got the double cutaway DC, the single cutaway SS, and the two and a half inch deep 175. And then on the solid body world, what we're looking at over here We've got four models, That's cool. the single cutaway Atlantic, double cutaway Brighton, Oddball Ludlow, and then this is my new baby. This mm. is the Deluxe Bedford SH, which we are psyched on. So this is available in matte wine, matte rose gold, and matte black. Actually, this is named after Bedford Avenue. Uh, a, right. lot of our, a lot of our model names bear street names in New York City. So I lived on Bedford Ave when I originally designed the solid bodies cool. of the line. So this is like, this is the homegrown, yeah, you know, yeah, this yeah, is cool named that. after the music studio that we made too many mistakes in. Anyways, <laughs> this is the semi-hollow version this of that great. Bedford. So it's got this big uh, open chamber on the top top out of the guitar with this um, F, the really unique F-hole shape on the top and it opens up pretty wide mm. and you get a fair bit of that acoustic sound yeah. in an otherwise very electric instrument, you know. And then the electronics configuration is super unique. Seymour Duncan 5-2 uh, in the neck, Seymour Duncan 5-2 in the middle, and then mini humbucker in the bridge. So it's that. Some would say 5-2, some would say 52. 
just saying. Hey. I'd go 52, wouldn't you? Well, you're actually sure guitar, you can say whatever you like. But Thank you so much. I, I'm I guessing it's that. like a vintage Telecaster sound. It is, kind yes. Of. And so really what you've got here is that three pickup configuration that you're used to, but super like beefy it. tones. Beefy, cool. baby. Beef. I like Beef. it. Yeah, and the I should mention that the Matt Rose Gold version comes with a six-point tremolo from Wilkinson as well. So. Nice. Get them while they're hot. Oh, you know, whilst they're get that hot. On this stuff. Right, Hot's where stuff. else are we going now? Lead yeah. on, Ryan. Look at this. Have you ever seen so many Fiesta red and white guitars on one wall? It kind of looks a bit uh, like we could arrange like that in the flag. English flag or the Danish flag. Yeah, that would be yeah, awesome, wouldn't it? the American flag. Where's your Focus. blue ones? What do you mean? Well, the Where Danish flag well, came first. Oh, I see. Bl <laughs> Danish flag was the first flag. In the world. The Danish flag was the first flag for, for a nation. Yeah, so absolutely. You, so everybody else copied us. He's like, wave it. It's like well, here. apparently it came yeah. down from heaven after a fight, and it was you know it then down and that's that, the story. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome Danish they had a history for you. Fantastic! Yeah, yeah. I was there wondering was a, when we were going to talk about Danish history. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I was just going to talk about Danish pastry instead. Yeah. Come on then. Right. Um, <laughs> so. Up on the top left, sort of an awkward spot. I guess we'll be off camera for this. That is the new Premier Mini DC. That's so, cool. It's a mini yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we've had a, a fair bit of success with the uh, double cutaway semi hollow DC in our line for years, uh, but we wanted to make the most ergonomic, most comfortable version of it possible. So that is 14 inches wide overall, two and a half inches shorter on the body length. It's only actually hold the mic a second. Mm. I didn't really appreciate. This is so How cool. many the mini is? Do you need a hand? This is. I just saw this and kind of thought it was this, like, and then now I realise, of course, it's not this. So there you are, viewers. That's the regular yeah, when, uh, one, and now this is the mini one. Yes. It's amazingly, I can't. That's yeah. I can see it now too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Comparisons help. Uh, yeah. So that's. He's that. got a thing with sizes. He's not very good at it. Sure, I understand. That's why he hangs out with me all the time. <laughs> right. Sure, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, here I'm gonna give this back to you. This isn't my job. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else is new? <laughs> uh, okay, and then so that's the the thing I'm most excited about in the that's premiere cool. series in our in our general line, a killer semi hollow, super comfy. And then on our left here, yes, flank me, boys, flank me. <laughs> this is the new premiere series version of the deluxe Bob Weir Bedford. So this is the premiere Bob Weir Bedford, essentially uh, the exact same configuration tonal spectrum that the deluxe has, uh, stripped down uh, essentially to become a more affordable model. That's so cool. We're, we're psyched on this. So a super unique electronics configuration uh, on here. Essentially what we've got is two stacked P90s with a single coil in the middle. You can tap, uh, or I should say split, each of your P90s so that you uh, remove the dummy coil that makes it a stack and it opens up and becomes a big broad P90. What, why do all the guitarists in The Grateful Dead both living and dead mm. and uh, standing in <laughs> in a John Mayer way. Why yeah. do they all have to have guitars with like sick, the weirdest electronic, not weirdest, but like the most sure. sort of complicated pickup? You know, I'm right? Yeah, like I, both I, weird, I think when Joe the Garcia, even the, the the guitar that you know the guitar that yeah. John Mayer had for the the Dead and Co gigs, yeah, are like like why does it need fifty six pickup combinations? I think when the doors of perception have been opened for like decades, <laughs> you know, you the doors of perception. <laughs> you, you, that, that's you know, band that's name. Aldous Huxley, man. That's what the doors are named after. Are you playing with me right no, now? No, I didn't know that. Music that history, kids, yes. So, you know that? no, I, absolutely. We'll yeah, cut that, that out. Don't worry about oh, that. I'm not trying to be better than anybody. <laughs> it's it good. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I think when, when you've got a lot of ideas floating around, and so, you know, Bob is somebody that we absolutely love working with. Yeah. He is the man, and he has so many cool ideas that I, it's my job to try to make it as concise yeah. as possible and fit on a guitar, you know? Well, it's a brave new world. Just so I'd get that in there to make myself look less thick. No, that was Hakuna Matata. Matata. <laughs> Literature. Yeah. Right, fantastic. One last thing about this electronics configuration. There's also this blendy knob, and this is not going to make you feel better about you know, a blendy complex. knob. Yeah. But okay. So Who here's. Who came up with that name? You know, good question. I'm not it's very sure. Scientific. It's what Bob's always it's called it. The blendy knob. Anyways, point is this. On a, on a standard five-way toggle, you've got, you know, your five positions that you're very familiar with on a three pickup uh, configuration. <laughs> but if you're selected on position four, for example, which yeah. is your neck and your middle, you can actually roll off, it's already, already rolled off, but if you can you can roll off this blender knob and bring in the bridge. So, all so three it, pickups oh. at the same so it, time. It, it brings in however much you'd like of what we're calling the odd man out pickup, the pickup that's not inherently part of the position. That's how I feel all the time. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right. I mean, listen. Especially right now. Hanging out with these guys, <laughs> blending knob hanging out, feeling like the odd man out. Yeah. That's probably why. Oh, my. Uh, anyway. God. We already talked about these, but just for a quick visual cue, these are all the limited editions. Oh, I, I was see. About. Oh, yeah. All the matte wine and the black and the uh, matte rose gold. Purple. 
I love that. Boom. And uh, those are all sold out at the show, so they're available now. Get them, get nice. them while they're while nice. they're hot. What was, what was the purple uh, thing? <laughs> oh, that's a chameleon Bedford. We debuted that last year. Um, people, people dig on that one as well. It's a chameleon. It's a chameleon. Um, it's effervescent. Yeah, it changes. It's it's purple. It's blue. It's red. It's green in certain lights. And it's pitch black. Are lyrics put from it in a, a room with no lights dead whatsoever. Song as well. It's yeah. green. It's purple. It's yellow in Kinda certain red, right? lights. It's uh, great. I like it. Anyways, um, come on, show us the custom shop. All right, fantastic. We'll yeah. just we'll just sort of well, look, this pan past this. Wave to the XL series. Hello. Up you go. So I, well, we are, I can't stand up here without you. All right, fantastic. I'll stand up here like the old man now. Yep. As you are. Uh, and I, as, as I want to be. <laughs> That's where I feel best. <laughs> Which model is this? You want me to hold this? If you want to. So yeah, we're exclusively selling <laughs> sad, broken parts at our new USA custom shop. <laughs> <laughs> but if you know what to do with this, great. you can buy it for a lot of money. So you've got a custom shop now in the US. We do. Cool. So who is heading that up and what are you hoping you know, to achieve out of that? Sure. So it is being headed up by longtime D'Angelico collaborator and dear friend Gene Baker, who no is way. an incredible luthier. Yeah, you know Gene? Well, I, we used to do the Baker guitars when he was at uh, Premier yes. Builder's Guild. He, yes, exactly. he can build guitars. The man can build a guitar. He's yeah. built several actually right behind us. Fantastic. And there I mean, he's he is a great on the video. Luthier, great luthier. So what was his uh, connection then with uh, D'Angelico? Well, we've worked with him on several projects in the past. And then, you know, once we uh, developed Solid Bodies a few years ago, it was a really natural fit to start working with Gene again because he builds such an incredible solid body. So we're going to be offering all four of our solid body shapes and our two most popular semi-hollows as well. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, pass on my best to Gene. I probably haven't seen him for about 10 years, but um, let's have a, let's just grab something sexy down. I'm going to put actually, down this, this body blank that you I think, made me hold. Oh, man. Yeah. Gold foil pickups. Yes, sir. Gold foil pickups from Lawler on top of a whitewash finish on a swamp ash body. Did I say all that right? That could have all so. sounded good to me, man. I was I always, think that was, I I was all these, lost in the made moment. You these uh, tuners just for you. Yeah, I, so I, I've grown kind of obsessed with satin hardware recently. Mm. You know, I think it subtles up the guitar and kind of makes it look more modern, but in a non-flashy way. And so, uh, yeah, so you know, those guys at, at Hipshot and Grover have been kind enough to work with our whim on that one. Um, this is an ebony fingerboard, a really nice. Um, double skunk stripe, you know, walnut and, and maple neck on here. And as you said, Gene just builds a hell of a guitar, so it feels incredible. Is you know? Gene the only guy? So, like, you're building, like, one or two a week kind it's of like, quantities? It's like Gene and a small group of right. elves who, you know, <laughs> assist uh, and birds carrying ribbons. Uh, but, yeah, so each one of these is going to be completely unique. Essentially, dealers and customers can build from an a la carte menu. Wow. Um, we're pretty much running it like a restaurant with seasonal options. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they, they start at 39.99 USD, okay. um, which isn't horrible, and I don't know what it is in pounds. I'm sorry. It's about the same, uh, probably. Great. Um, and so you get a ton of guitar, and you get a story behind the guitar. You know, that handmade, one one dude uh, working on it, you know, that, that incredible history to your instrument. Well... Thank you, Ryan, for making our final video of the NAMM show a real highlight. This was a hoot, <laughs> and you're not to be left out. This was great. No, no. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, oh, guys. Bye, guys. Uh, see you back home, I guess. Cheers, as they say. Cheerio.